April 28th, Christmas Evans. Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. It was 1766 in Wales. Evans got his first name, you guessed it, because he was born on Christmas Day. And once he was old enough to help on a farm, he probably didn't get teased about his name, since it said he stood seven feet tall. He taught himself to read Welsh and English. With the help of a tutor, he mastered Latin. Finally, he tackled Hebrew and Greek, and he preached throughout Wales. One particular Sunday afternoon, when he was listening to a powerful preacher, Evans had an aha moment. In his mind, he saw that the kind of preaching his people would get the most from was drama, as in comedies and tragedies. He traveled thousands of miles up and down Wales, uniting the churches and seeing to practical needs of the people. And everywhere he went, he preached with brilliant analogies and emotion that helped the people understand the scripture. Evans came to be known as one of the three most powerful preachers in Wales. On this date, in 1838, at the age of 72, in his 53rd year of ministry, Evans journeyed into South Wales on his final preaching tour. Today's story gives us a look into Evans' character when he was away from the pulpit. Lying may bring temporary satisfaction, but honesty brings lasting respect. When Welsh minister Christmas Evans needed his horse sold, he hired a local businessman to sell the animal at the local fair. So the businessman, with horse in tow, went to the fair and hoped to get a good price for it, even though the horse was old and not in the best shape. But Evans had confidence the businessman would be able to sell the horse, no matter how poor its condition. There had to be someone out there who would want to take care of a kind and pleasant animal, despite its shortcomings. But after the businessman had been gone for a while, Evans decided to go down to the fair himself to check up on him and see how the sale was proceeding. At the fair, Evans quickly found the businessman, and at that very moment, He was in the middle of haggling with an interested customer. Eager to meet the interested customer, Evans joined the businessman and his prospect. Is this your horse, Mr. Evans? The customer asked. Certainly it is, he responded. Well, what is his age, sir? Twenty-three years old, he said. The customer's eyes widened and he quickly turned to the businessman. He told me, It was only 15. Evans looked at the businessman who gulped noticeably. He is certainly 23, Evans repeated. It was clear the businessman had not been completely forthcoming. Evans said, he's been with me 20 years and he was three years old when I bought him. The customer nodded. Is he safe footed though? Well, he's very far from that, Evans shrugged. Indeed, that's the very reason I want to part with him. The businessman's eyes widened and he shot Evans a nasty glare. Please go into the house, Mr. Evans, and stay there, he whispered. I never will dispose of the horse while you are present, but Evans wouldn't be deterred. Didn't the businessman know Christmas was a man of God? What kind of Christian man would he be if he was dishonest in his business dealings? Surely the customer would have to know what kind of horse he was getting. Evans continued to answer the customer's questions too honestly for the businessman's comfort. Evans and the customer continued to talk and the businessman continued to shake his head and mutter to himself under his breath. Amazingly, the customer ended up buying the horse at the price Evans had been asking, which allowed the businessman to make a profit. The customer had been so honored by Evans' honesty, he decided to honor him back. Colossians 3.9 tells us, Don't lie to each other, for you have stripped off your old sinful nature and its wicked deeds. 
When have you felt rewarded, either internally or externally, because you chose to be honest? Lying may bring temporary satisfaction, but honesty brings lasting respect. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real-life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.